Crashing. Crashing with friends. <laughs> Welcome to Crashing with Friends Podcast. My name is Kyle Hobbs, your host. This week I'm joined by Jackson Brayman. What up? <laughs> William Ryan Jordan. Yo. <laughs> Connor Hobbs. Connor's with the maggots now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> and the triumphant return. Of David Lindsay. Hey. Let's give it up. <laughs> Sexy Davies back. <laughs> it's little Davy. <laughs> little oh, Davy. Yeah, little Davy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So let's start with David. Dude, how's your how have you been, dude? How's your year been? How's your year been for real? Busy. It's been since episode thirty seven was your last episode. Seriously? Yep, you were on for thirty seven episodes. It feels like we did more than that. Nope. 37, that's, man. That's crazy. And we're on episode, this is 89 of Crashing with Friends. Damn. 89 yeah. fucking weeks. 52. <laughs> 52, yeah, that's a whole year. If you do one every week. So. Yep. Yep. That's pretty wild. That's good. But uh, how have you been, man? What have you been up to? Good. What you been playing? Uh, what you been doing? You know, how you been living? Well, I, um, when Redfall came out, I was very excited. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're going to start? Pre and post <laughs> Redfall. <laughs> and then I... <laughs> and then I saw the reviews, and I sold my Series X to a man in Nevada and bought a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I've been playing my PS5 a lot. I, I finally beat Spider-Man, which I never did oh, when, nice. you, oh. when you lent me uh, Anakin's copy. That game is phenomenal, bro. I wish... <laughs> I still, The first time I played through it, I got hung up. On the collectible crap. I was going all over the place collecting all the crap, and I was just like, man, this isn't fun. So this time I was like, I'm just going to play through the story, and now it's like, I mean, probably one of my favorite games ever. It's so good. Mm-hmm. And so now I'm like halfway through Miles. Oh, Miles. Uh, the combat's better, The music's right? so great, combat's dude. so good. And the music, dude, oh, the dude, fact yeah. that you I can like so much fun go that. around town and find those prowler things, and it changes the music as yeah. you swing around. Oh, my God. It's so cool. And also just, just everything about the game was awesome. Like, yeah. Like the first one, first one was great, and then... Went through and like 100% completed Miles Morales. Got all the clock. I think I'm going to 100% Miles Morales. Yeah, dude. It's, it's like, I, got, I got, I'm pretty sure I platinum, but yeah, dude, I, the way he swings, I just love the way he just like yeah. swings with style in that game. Yeah. It's so cool. And the then whole. you can get the, the into the spider verse, the cell shaded skin. And like, I loved the, the 2099 skin from the first game, but the one from this game, I like, I was like, I got it. I was super excited. And then I was like, Oh, cause it's kind of, but it's anyway, little mid uh yeah i did go back and platinum bloodborne too um which nice. was dude i mean connor did you play the chalice dungeons back in the day did, i know we I, talked about it i played a few enough to get the bone ash armor and that was okay. mainly it but how repetitive they were i couldn't oh, do man. the madness so so for context like i think i put because i'd already beaten the game before once and so i had that the trophies from that first playthrough but I never did the old Hunter's DLC. So I went back and I played through up to like level 80 or so and then decided, okay, I'm going to do the Chalice Dungeons for the trophies out of there and then I'm going to do the DLC. It took me 36 hours from the point where I started, did two playthroughs, beat the old Hunters, and did the Chalice Dungeons, and six of those hours were the old Hunter's DLC and two playthroughs. The rest oh. of it was Chalice Dungeons. Bro. Damn. Yeah. Like, and there's there's a few bosses down there like there's a, a specific chalice dungeons where it halves your health and you have to fight like two of the tankiest most frustrating bosses in the entire game. and you fight them elsewhere already they're just dude, dude. they're just redos but Man. god I can't wait till they port that to PC dude <sighs> Yeah, it's yeah. it's great. And why haven't they? Like, what what's the holdup here? Yeah, like, what are we know. what are we doing? Possible remaster. That's the only thing. Like, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Slash remake. Port that shit. Yeah. yeah, I want it. Port it. Daddy wants it. <laughs> Daddy wants. Daddy I, still, gets. I have never beaten Elden Ring, so I still need to beat that. Yeah, what is your problem? Don't well, I don't own it. It's on Connor's like, uh, <laughs> oh, whatever. Like, Steam. Yeah, Steam shared thing. So. Yeah, you're right, you're right over there, Ryan. Yeah, I'm trying to get this. Uh... 
look like a. Kay. There you go. Cool. Said, for a second, you look like a crackhead trying to look to like figure out. How <laughs> works. We break no. this open, man. Yeah, I was just trying to put the. <clears throat> how, does my, on. how does my voice go through here and just? <laughs> 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 Mm. Yeah, so um, I'm also playing a lot of, uh, well, I was playing a lot of Overwatch 2 ever since it launched, but this whole, like, canceled PvE thing is really disappointing. Uh, oh, they fully canceled it? They, they, yeah. They canceled uh. the hero missions and the PvE, and then now they're releasing, like, chunks of story stuff every season instead of just a whole big drop like they planned on i think it i think that whole thing never existed and it was just some some panels that they put together to try to sell it <laughs> yeah they and just to bring people back to I could definitely see that because that's Dude. that's just one thing i think blizzard would do because that's why um reasons why a bunch of my friends are not buying diablo they're like i'm not gonna buy stuff from blizzard anymore <laughs> yeah i was like man that's Dude, like, that sucks because diablo is great i hear diablo is really diablo is like yeah. it's awesome yeah I, and i thought about stopping playing overwatch but i was like i like the game it's fun i don't really give a shit you know yeah like it's just enjoyable like you just gotta look past it i don't really see i don't really care like you know just keep your shit out of my gameplay and it's okay yeah to be honest since like it became like the new overwatch 2 like update i've just lost my love for it mm. i yeah. i lo- i just i liked the six versus six oh i think it's way five better five i think it's so much better Nah. Well, mainly because they took out a lot of the crowd control and shields. It, it used to be just they did shields everywhere, and and then you always had to have two people play tank, and that and, sucks. And now you can't. It's only one <laughs> tank, which is awesome because yeah. two tanks. It's always the same two tanks, and yeah. it's either who's better at playing that character. Yeah. It, it always comes down to who's yeah. better playing the tank. Because if you if you don't have the two tanks, you lose, and you always get some person that wants to play like. A certain wrecking tank. ball. Yeah, I love wrecking ball. Though. Guilty. He's much fun. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun, but he's he's not the best tank. He's just you, you get to have fun with him. He's, he's yeah. good and casual. Not they, they made Doomfist a tank in Overwatch too. Now Dude. he's incredibly fun to play. He's he's strong. Yeah, incredibly strong. But it, try to turn him into One Punch Man or something. Yeah, that was a that was a fun <laughs> crossover. I didn't spend money on it because way too expensive. But um, yeah. Otherwise, I mean. Nice. Watched some movies. I just ran a, the Joplin Memorial 10K. That was fun. Which I, I, the funny thing is, when I ran that half marathon last year, I trained for like 12 weeks for that. And I signed up for the 10K and it was $45 for registration. So it was like three weeks before that. I was like, all right, I guess I need to do some train up because I hadn't been running. So I did a week of train up and then I skipped a week and then I did another week of light train up. And then I ran the whole thing and placed fourth in my age group. Hell like, yeah. So <laughs> I was good. like, dude, if I had trained, man, I might have made the podium, but holy shit. Yeah. It's pretty good. I uh, know wow. we're we're uh super busy with Eden's softball. Like that dude, it's oh my god, two games a week and Yep. Two games a week and softball sucks, man. Yeah. I have a game right after this podcast. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah. Over the, is it over the fields over there or is it the baseball field? Sunny Jim. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, we we had uh we had two games on Thursday last week because she got subbed into a second game. So it was like we didn't get leave there till ten o'clock. It was horrible. Yeah, we we played a game Tuesday night that started at seven forty five, and normally we only play three innings, and we still get out of there like nine fifteen. But then they tied, and so the coaches and the ump were like, "Let's just go ahead and do a fourth. And I'm like, "Oh my god!" But then our our pitcher struck three girls out in a row, so it's pretty clean. Nice, yeah. Nice. Connor, how's your week been, man? It's been a good week. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I watched some movies, uh, finished out some TV shows. Um, succession finale, thought that was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Um, some twists, some turns, some uh, face grabbing. Uh, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> That was crazy. Uh, yeah, I uh, didn't see that. Coming. Like he was trying to break his nose in like three or four places. Like, like crack an egg open. Like, what are we yeah. doing here? <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Uh, watched the Barry finale. Didn't really like a lot of what happened. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Man, I'm not a big like. I'm not. I wasn't the biggest fan of the last season. You know. Uh, yeah, the last two seasons. The, the first two seasons were great. The second or the third one kind of trailed off a little bit. And then the fourth one, yeah, it's not that good at all. So, 
And I feel like poor. the farther it went on, it started to leave the comedy behind. It would every once in a while you'll get like a good comedy bit, like the the part where Noho Hank is trying to shoot a rocket at the mansion. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that, <laughs> that might be awesome. one of my new favorite one shot like moments. You know, mm-hmm. just all, I don't know, scene done in one <laughs> shot. Yeah, but, it was pretty good. I'm with you, Connor. I'd, I I'm at the point where now where I don't I wouldn't recommend Barry to anybody. Right. What is that show on? It's on HBO. 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 It's on Max. It's on Max. It's on Max. My friend Max, man. You ask him for it. He'll give it to you. Max! (laughs) Uh, Yeah. So, yeah. Watch Barry. I started Silo, and not only have I caught up on it, um, I've watched today's episode as well, so I'm fully caught up. Wow. I know know more than a lot of people. I... Have not watched any more of Silo since the first two episodes. I really? watched the first episode. I'm, how it goes. Okay. Like, I'm gonna wild, dude. It is good, <laughs> dude, right? It is good. Crazy. I was like, she went insane. I was like, all these people, I was like, this is nuts, dude. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty invested in the first episode. So I'm gonna give re- watch the rest. Of it's it. good. Yeah. It's yeah. this year's Severance so far. Yeah, yeah it's freaking. It's yeah. pr- the first episode was good. So I was like, it usually it has to be like the first, or second episode that gets you to go watch the rest of the season most of the time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, it's definitely got me intrigued to see where they take it, you know, and how far it goes. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep watching that. Um, haven't what's, watched what's that on. No, that's <laughs> Apple. Apple. Apple Plus. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> Hold your tongue and say Apple. <laughs> <laughs> you do it, Jack. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> now say Max. <laughs> Next <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is hard. It's impossible. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. He's right. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Call the president. Someone must, someone's gotta tell him. Uh yeah, yeah. Uh, Th- uh, Wednesday night, I I would like have this in my head. Okay, rewind that. Yeah. <laughs> Ursher got the beat that made the booty go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Tuesday, I watched uh, Super Mario Bros. movie. Oh, so good, bro. Ah, oh, dude, I love that man. Like, has everybody here seen it yes. so far? I've seen it. I've I have seen not it. finished. I it. own it. Not really. <laughs> so I do I. I, I own it. <laughs> Just blown I own away, it because you own it. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, David. No, I was gonna say I was I was blown away by it. It was it was, it was way better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah. People give him Chris Pratt shit and about. I didn't mind it. No, at it, all. Was, no. it was they, like because they only showed the parts that people hated on. In the previews, they didn't like give. They didn't, wasn't giving Mario too much credit because, like, mm-hmm. like well, Mario's supposed to be Italian. He's not. He doesn't have to be Italian. Like, why? Like, what? Is, what makes him Italian? I guess just his the, name his makes voice. him Italian. Yeah. Only Mario. Yeah. Like, <laughs> only <laughs> Italians are named Mario. So they, I mean, like, he did some of the voice lines, and they're good. Right. They're great. You know, like. What we got to know is their last name. That will give us a big clue. <laughs> Ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> For all we know, Luigi it Ravioli. For all we know, it could be Wachowski and they're Jewish or something. You know, so. <laughs> Mario and Luigi Wachowski. <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! <laughs> you gotta turn that into a text tone, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, but yeah, my uh, my my takeaway from that was uh, the energy, David. The energy. Oh god, <laughs> get it to him. He got it. There's uh, a thousand views. <laughs> <laughs> Pull him out now. Yeah. Let the man talk. You guys want to go for two thousand views right here? <laughs> <laughs> He got oh, his man. dogs out. Man. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So yeah. Back on track. Yeah, the Mario movie, man. That that whole like uh, animation slash uh, lighting, I thought was just phenomenal for the movie. You know, mm-hmm. that blew me away. Mm-hmm. Story was okay. Main drawback: not enough Luigi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I loved. I mean, the end was was great, but. Yeah, you're right. 
But the pro is we did get a lot more peach this way, you know. So, you know, mm-hmm. girl power. And she was pretty effective throughout the movie. I liked how she used ice powers at the end, you know. Yeah, that was cool. That was fun. Uh, but yeah. I, I like that little star in the prison cage that's like super depressing. Dude, uh, it's freaking Rosalina's star. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's Luma. Awesome. Yeah. It, it cracks me up because <laughs> the time, like, it was like hope is uh, whatever you said about the, like, Hope is something about yeah, yeah. being locked away. Or I don't know. The only so the only the hope we have is a clean death or something. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, it was so funny. Remember the floating down? Finally, mercy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one. He, he, he hopped out of the freaking cage, too, was doing stuff, and then gets back at the cage. He's like, he can leave any time, but have he doesn't you, want to. He just makes everybody else depressed. <laughs> Did you get to the Donkey Kong jungle yet when, when you were watching it or not yet? No, I got to the Mario training scene. Okay. Oh, that's not very far. It's like 20 minutes in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not very far at all. Okay. But yeah, I, I did like the Donkey Kong parts were probably my favorite. Like the whole DK jungle, mm-hmm. the cart ride and all that. I really like that. <laughs> that was freaking good. Yeah. <clears throat> recommended. All right. Next day I decided I'm going to like watch the evil dead and then evil dead rise as like a back to back feature, you know, evil yeah. dead rise, man. So I'm like, all right, starting it up. Uh, I get about 30 minutes into Evil Dead, and it's just after the thing goes up, that girl inside the forest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, she's talking to Are her brother. Are you talking about the tree fucking her? That's what's In the 2013 on. one, right? Is what yeah, 2013. 2013 yeah. One. yeah. Well, actually, yeah, I guess. But isn't that the evil spirit also going, like, yeah, possessing yeah. her in a way, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like, um, I get to that part just after that where she's talking to her brother, and that scene, like, it's just, it's disturbing, you know? And, like... I started feeling really lightheaded, man. I was like, well, man, I gotta like, I gotta stop. So and, I wanted, I wanted to be like, if it went up your vagina. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So like, I, I pushed it to the side for, uh, for like, I don't know, 15 minutes while I watched like a sports clip on YouTube. And I'm like, all right, let's try to go back into this. So I watched about another 15 minutes, get, you know, just past the face cutting scene. Dude. Oh, and, uh, dude, my I'm, favorite. Oh, the, Pulling the needle out of the eye. Yeah, it was just after that. I'm just like, (laughs) (laughs) I'm just like, dude, I'm done. I'm done. That movie is fucking crazy. Yeah. So uh, I got the exact, I got the exact same feeling watching like you, like UFC injuries. I don't know why I decided to click on that video. I was like, worst UFC injuries. Turns out there's some pretty brutal. There's some brutal stuff. Yeah. (laughs) But anyway, I'm like, okay. So I just abandoned that for the night, and then uh, next day. I'm like, all right, let's go at it again. And then, uh, <laughs> so I get to the part where the girl's cutting her arm off, and I'm like, like mouthful of a, a steak taco, and I'm like, all right, I think I can handle it, you know. So it's uh, going all right. Yeah, yeah. I was like, we're, we're getting, we're getting kind of hot. <laughs> that arm's looking pretty good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just uh, I finished it out, watched the next movie, and uh, really enjoyed Evil Dead Rise. Although, gotta say, beginning and the end with the whole um, lake stuff, that stuff I didn't really like because it didn't really connect to the movie in any major way. But aside from that, a really good movie. Yeah. Let's just hope the next one picks up right there so it does. So I, sequel I and an actual sequel. I freaking love that. Has everybody seen that? Yeah, I, I went oh, to yes. the theaters. Yeah. yeah, Colin and I went and saw it in theaters. The, the part where she comes up out of the lake and then it gets super fucking loud and then the Evil Dead title comes down was so cool. Yeah. But that's that's my movie of the that year. That was a kick-ass freaking opening. I, I love that fucking movie, man. Kill that might too. be mine too, man. I Until still we think, see Spider-Man. I still think yeah. the 2013 one tops the new one. Oh, Oh, in, yeah. almost, in almost every way. Nah, bro. The, I, I, <laughs> I need to I, shut up, dude. I, 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 I don't know. I felt the opening was better. I thought the ending was better in the 2013 one. I mean, Ready Blood, bro. Ready Blood from a last okay. ass. Yeah. I, I need think, to rewatch. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I think that the, the intro in the first movie definitely connects to the movie better. Compared to this one, but mm. if there's a sequel, it could make it work. <clears throat> but dude, the in the in the <clears throat> Evil Dead Rise, like I love the record stuff. Yeah, even yeah, though I think cool. it's really stupid that it all got put on vinyl to begin with. But it's like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. And then when she puts her finger on it, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. Freaking when she when she killed like everyone out in the hallway was also nuts. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, 
When she spit oh the she eyeball, eyeball scene, scene. Yeah. jumps on it and then she like freaking rips the other kid in hell. Oh my god. The, the yeah. eyeball scene from the first movie, bro, when they step on the cellar door and the eyeball flies out and dude. Dude, I'm talking was, about the eyeball from the new movie where she bites the eyeball out of that one dude well, and spits it into the throat of the yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. That's my moment of the year in the movie so far. Like, <laughs> so and then he dies from it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh of course, that line that you that you said in your opening, yeah. so good. <laughs> Mommy's with the maggots now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the part where she flies out of the tub in Spider-Man's. Yeah. yeah. That part's pretty <laughs> cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, bro, there's so many scenes in that movie that are just so messed up, bro. Like, the first moment you realize when she, like, shoves the tattoo gun into the girl's face, and then she becomes possessed, and you're like, oh. So I, the kids I, aren't I, even safe. Now. Yeah, like, I felt that she, I knew, like, when she instantly got stabbed with, like, blood, I was like, oh, no, she's she's gone. And, and then yeah. I knew all her on fire, you know, freaking like I knew all like them kids. Eating glass. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, yeah. dude! <laughs> like glasses in there. I was like, dude, that would be horrible. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> it's like one thing I'm always afraid of. Is like just if you're chewing on something like that, and then it's like glass gets in your throat and just <laughs> lights you all up. It's horrible. I like the part where. Uh, the girl's dead, and she's covered in the sheet, and she's <laughs> flying at the, the little girl. I love that part, man. <laughs> and it's like, what's the deal with everybody leaving their weapons in the bodies? Like, come yeah, on, man. Yeah. Like, you might need to stab a second time. And you what's know? with that mom <laughs> vomiting like 60 gallons of... Yeah. Of whatever we, the hell that was. <laughs> when, we saw that, of oatmeal. <laughs> when we saw that in theaters, like as soon as she like vomited out all that stuff, like someone in the theater was like, oh, cum guzzler. <laughs> <laughs> was that you, Jackson? Did you? <laughs> it was me. I we know how she pays her bills. <laughs> uh, oh, that's good. Yeah. It was, re- it was a really good movie. I think everybody should check it out if you like horror movies. So, yeah. But yeah, just uh, aside from that, playing Legend of Zelda, still going to finish that pretty soon, and uh, getting ready for the weekend. That's about it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And Ryan, how's your um, week been? It's been pretty good. I quit my job. What? what? Yeah, I did. Too much chemicals? Uh, well, dangerous. Extremely dangerous. One, just, you don't get any benefits whatsoever. Good benefits. Um, money is good. That's That was a plus. Uh, but... Workplace is shit. Workplace environment? Workplace environment, people. My, my family owns a business, and oh. my uncle owns a business. And uh, I was I worked in a lab, um, pretty much uh, processing metals and, uh, like, refining them back to, like, 100% purity. Whoa. Yeah. So like you could take silver, platinum. like a silver-gold combo and make them <clears throat> silver yeah, and gold? separate the gold from the silver, yeah. Did everybody you call you Because you, you, you can dissolve all of that in nitric, and then you put HCl, and it pulls all the silver out to a silver chloride, and you can just burn that, and it turns into an oxide. And the gold, you take something else in, <laughs> put it in there, and it just drops it all out. And it's powder. It's like a little fluffy powder. Yeah, but it's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 real. It sounds complicated, but it's like, extremely and then you that easy. In. <laughs> Hold on a second. We call that blue. <laughs> but, blue steel. I know, I, I know if I were if I had your job, I'd be like mixing all this stuff, and I'd be like, oh no, mustard gas. <laughs> uh, so it was a couple of weeks ago, and also probably less, a little bit less than a month ago, um, and I within the past six months, I've done it twice, and it's worked with cyanide, and that's no go for me, man. Like, this time it was completely different than last time. I had to, like, completely get rid of the cyanide out of the solution. God. So you dissolve it, and it goes in, it goes in, it dissolves in water, pretty much. The the cyanide that we had it was, like, gold, cyanide, potassium, whatever. So it went into water, and then you have to get rid of it. So you use bleach, and it just pulls it out of the liquid, and it's it turns into a cyanate or something like that. So it's, like, a little pellet thingy. And then you have to take that, and then you put that, and you use uh, pretty much... Like HCl, or uh, you use HCl in it, and then it turns into carbon dioxide and nitrogen. And then, well, that's also fucking dangerous. I'm a I had to have like a full, a full fucking <laughs> mask and everything, air for, for forced air, and then it's just like you do something really good because, like, the gold I did was um, the amount I got was probably like close to a hundred thousand dollars in gold. Well, yeah, it was a fuckload of gold, dude. It was like, I don't know, it was a couple tubs of gold. It was nuts. Jesus. 
So, so did you have like uh, like a scare or something at work that happened where you're well, like, I don't want to do mean, this anymore or what? It's just people, and then also like you know like the it's just they expect so much from you because of your family, even uh, though like take they, advantage they, they, of you. Yeah, they pretty much taking advantage of you. Yeah. I worked a twenty four hour shift. Fuck that. Twenty four hours. Yeah, worked a twenty four hour shift. That was horrible. I was like, hmm. That's that's it. That's 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 I'm, I'm calling. It. I'm like 24 hours. Fuck that. No, never again. That's I was insane. Like, and they they and then it's like you work that, and then they expect you to work the next day. I was like, fuck no. Did they like pay you salary too, or were you hourly? Mm, no, I, I got paid hourly, but it's like depending on the job I got. Uh, so if I was working on in company stuff, it was 26 dollars an hour. If I was working out of company stuff, and it was from like government places, like that sent stuff in, like Northrop Grumman and other stuff like that. It was like fifty six dollars an hour. Good God, mm. God bless America. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. But even then, like the the like risks and rewards from that, like the risks are way too high for me to do that. Because like I, if I breathe any of that sign, I didn't have been dead. One hundred percent. Like, and then you know, like I can't me sleeping and then waking up the next day, like not waking up the next day or something like that. Cause like sometimes you can breathe that in and you'll be fine the rest of the day. And then you, it'll just slowly eat away at you. Oh, I yeah, know. So yeah, no, I'm not, I wasn't going to deal with it anymore. I was like, yeah, I, I call, I, I went in, took my laptop and my badge and stuff. And I was like, uh, he's like, what are you doing? I was like, I bring my stuff back. Um, he's like, can't do it anymore. He's like, well, you can you tell me why? I was like, well, the workplace sucks. And I was like, I was like, I can't, you know, I'm not going to risk myself for, you know, and also be treated like shit to be, you know, do all this work for you guys and not get anything in return. And he's like, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I was like, I'm sorry to hear it too. And I walked out the door. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that, that was, that was uh Tuesday. So I was like, all right, I'm fine. You know, I can be, I can, I have money back and I'm fine because, you know, save money for situations like this to pay yeah, bills dude. and stuff. So. Just living chill free, you know, playing games and having fun. Um, Did you quit directly to a family member or was it like someone it was, else? Uh, it was like the manager of that uh, facility that I worked in. Okay. Um, Did you tell him to fuck off? No. Did you fought on his dad? Like if you, were, if you guys were to meet him, he's a great guy. He's funny. But he, like you wouldn't be able to understand him because his accent, his, he, he was from South Africa. So, and he was like, he... Like his accents come way different. Like it's so oh, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but other than that, I've been playing Legend of Zelda, which is amazing. Mainly, I've been just building shit for hours on end and sending Koroks to the moon. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> uh, that's that's what everybody does, or crucifies them. That's, that's kind of what that happens. Yeah. Um, I have three of the temples done out of four or five. Yeah, four. Uh, played some Starship Troopers Extermination. That is fun as shit. If you've ever seen Starship Troopers the game, or the movie, uh, the game's, it, it's freaking awesome. You'd be like, oh yeah, this is great. This, I'm having so much fun. Um, four, it's like a 16 players in a, in on, on, on a mission, on, in a match. There's five different, um, squads you can join. Four people in a squad. You can have a medic assault or a, a bastion. A bastion's a tank. You got the assault, which is like has a jetpack and stuff. And then you got a medic, which is that's what I've been playing. It's a lot of fun. Hey, you get a grenade launcher but for some reason. It's like the best. Um, Diz needed a medic yeah. and she didn't get one. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the whole thing is like going on the planet. You like do the little like side missions on there with, with the, with the whole entire like group. And then you, at the very end, you build a big base to save this like reactor thing or like computer thing. That's like scanning and pulling data from the planet onto this like distribution. And then you have to extract. So while that's happening, you're just waves and waves of bugs. It's freaking cool. Like this is like thousands of them. Just, you see them running over the freaking uh, like, walls and like over the mountains and shit so cool um and you do that for a little bit and then you have to extract and it's hell getting extraction on that um <laughs> like you would leave and then the, they all just they're just everywhere they're not spawning far out they're all in the front of the thing and then just 
kill you instantly. Yeah, it's so cool. Um, it's twenty four dollars. Also early access. Not bad. I don't really like playing early access games too much because have this issues. Is twenty twenty three. Yeah, <laughs> have issues with that. But I would say that's one that's definitely worth paying twenty four dollars for because it could probably go to sixty after it's done. It'd be fun uh, to play with friends. Yeah, four people. I mean, even if you're not like, still you can still be in the match together because you can put sixteen people in a lobby together and then play play a match if Damn. you had sixteen people. So, which I mean, you could just all be friends and just hang, like you know, all work together. And but then at the very end, it shows like which squad did the best, like on point wise. So it's kind of like, uh, right. so it's kind of like a like Left for Dead stats. Mm-hmm. It's like, all right, at the end, you get to see who was better. Yeah, than this you. squad was better. <laughs> and then, but it's, it's it's pretty cool. Um, been playing Diablo. Played it for from release last night to which was six o'clock till like three or four this morning. Um, it's, you know, what I expected. I wanted, I wanted to, I played the beta and the alpha and stuff and I wanted it to be, it was already good from the, playing the beta and the alpha, but it's way better than what people were like, oh, it's going to be, you know, shit and they're going to have all this stuff, you know, because Immortal made it really bad for people because it's phone mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. you know, pay to win. Um, but I would say that's also a great game. Wait till the six for the play it because instead of paying ninety to a hundred dollars to play it now, you can just play it seventy. What you, what classes you start with? Uh, necromancer. Because oh, yeah, if you're not playing with friends, necromancer is the class to play because you have seven skeletal warriors, you have four mages and a golem. Dang, dude. So that's like that's like at level twenty five, you get the golem, and the golem. I just um, you can also get rid of all of them. And get extra stats to you. Yeah, so I got I rid of everything that. but the golem, and like I just have the golem, and I have I have so much damage it's nuts. Dude, I can't wait. So it's oh, yeah. it's well worth the play. Um, I, I just love Diablo games. Um, I did not play Immortal because I don't like phone games too much. So also pay to win. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, I've been chilling, playing games, streaming, having a good time. Just chilling. looking manly Killing. as hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, growing the, growing this beard out. Trying. <laughs> <clears throat> playing a lot of Magic the Gathering as well because I got back into that and it's a lot of fun. Sweet. I love card games. Say goodbye and, to all that savings. No. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I've already already had the deck and I had the yeah. cards. So, like, I built a deck and uh, been playing with playing at, like, Wednesday nights and Friday nights. Um, you, they, you don't go to... You're not, like, a Hurley's guy, are you? I go to Hurley's uh, on Wednesdays. Oh, yeah. um, nobody's there is really on Thursdays, but um, Changing Hands has people. But I don't know if I'm gonna go. They, uh, some people spend way too much money on the game. Mm-hmm. Way yeah, I got swept. Much. Like, no mercy. The first time I went to Hurley's, bro, it was disgusting. Yeah, well, I I can do really well out there. I do really well out there. Oh. But the last time I played out there, which was, yeah, it was Wednesday, a guy played his deck, and we're playing Commander, so it's like four people, and mm-hmm. you have hundred cards, and you only have one version of each card in that deck. Which is really cool, and then you have a commander. You can keep bringing them out, and have they all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, this guy, he freaking got to continuously go on his turn. It's his turn. It's turn. Turn every single every single time he ended his turn, it was his turn again. Like it, that's how one of the cards he has out. It was nuts. Freaking gets done finishing and wins, and then he's like, "You know how much does this deck cost?" I was like, "Too much." And he's like, ninety five hundred dollars." I was like, mm. "Oh, ninety five hundred dollars for the entire deck that he had." I was like, "This run right here is like if I bought all of it." Like new, it's six hundred bucks. That's but, insane, dude. Yeah, I'm like, but I had all the cards. I had a majority of the cards that I wanted for my deck that I wanted to build, and I traded a bunch of my stuff in, so I only paid a hundred dollars for the deck. Wow, yeah. And so, I mean, like, if you're doing that's great, but ninety five hundred dollars. Don't you want to win, Ryan? And not ninety five hundred dollars. <laughs> if I was winning ninety five hundred dollars, I'd spend ninety five hundred dollars. You know. <laughs> like, what if you both went at each other with the same deck? Would it always be both of your turns at the same time? Well, it comes down to a thing where he has a he like everybody flips a card, and whoever has the highest cost card, whoever has the highest cost card gets to go. And yeah, it was always okay. him because he stacked his deck with all kinds of high cost. Okay. Stuff. <laughs> Now I get it. <laughs> but if I got a higher cost card, yeah, it'd be yeah. my turn than his turn. Then you know, it's kind of it sucked, but it's okay. It's all right. Have a good time, Jackson. How's your week been? <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> I pretty much did all the same stuff that uh, Connor did, but uh, 
I've uh, the new season of I Think You Should Leave came out on Netflix. I finished all of that in a day. It was fucking hilarious. Uh, to me, it's the funniest show on Netflix. I don't know what beats it. I'm gonna check it out this weekend. But uh, I would say Arrested Development probably beats every single. Thing. That's not a Netflix original. I don't count that <laughs> season. That's true. The best stuff wasn't Netflix, so it's true. Yeah. But uh, also, dude. Started watching this other show. It's called Chimp Empire. It's on Netflix. It's a documentary. And the whole reason why I started watching it is because the main alpha male of the central group of chimpanzees is named Jackson. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, I gotta find out and see what Jackson's all about. <laughs> he's just a fucking shithead, dude. Like, <laughs> like he's uh, he's been like the alpha male of this like main central group of chimpanzees for like six years and that's it's getting long for alpha male years, you know? Some mm. of the younger chimpanzees are coming up and like eyeballing them like, hey, I'm coming for your throne, man. But yeah, like so Jackson the chimpanzee, like to assert his dominance, every once in a while he just gotta fucking freak out. Just gotta like all of a sudden everyone's chilling, you know? Chilling, hanging out with the babies, you know. And then Jackson just sees that and is like, it's time to start dominance. And then he's like, just start snapping trees in half and start smacking stuff and stomping on the ground as he's running through like the group. If he sees someone like laying down, he's like, I'm running at you. And if you don't move, it's a sign of disrespect to me. <laughs> like, it's, like, it's fucking gnarly, man. I never thought I'd be so entranced by like just watching a chimpanzee documentary. With multiple episodes in it, but I'm fucking loving it, man. I'm rooting for my boy Jackson the entire time. <laughs> Do you ever feel like a, a supernatural urge to emulate his behavior because you're both named Jackson? Dude, Dude, I mean, ever Jack. since I watched that show, every time I'm like when I'm at work, I'll just like see stuff and I'm like, man, I just kind of want to fucking a certain dog. Start knocking shit over. Go to my boss's desk, like fucking clear it off. It's my desk now. Certain I'm dominance. I'm here to take it. I'm the manager now. I'm Jackson. I'm the all the warehouse. Oh, but, no. Chip Jackson. But dude, like. Return to monkey. Yeah. But yeah, that show is Pretty good. I recommend it. Like, check it out at some point. Hell yeah. Just see what Jackson's all about, man. I promise <laughs> you, you're going to watch it and be like, man, this Jackson's a crazy guy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this Jackson chimp is not to be trifled with. <laughs> What's crazy, there's another chimp that's like a bigger chimp within the group. I, I think his name's like Miles or something like that. And he, like the entire time, like Jackson's just like, yo, anything I eat, you're going to get a good portion of it. So he's like, Miles is like, fuck yeah, well, I don't need to take the alpha male position then. You're just going to give me all, like, most of your stuff, so cool with that. So he's the bitch, then, like, he's, in a way. He's kind of like, he's he's like the muscle. Oh, he's, the muscle. He's like the oh, backup muscle that's okay. always got your back. Okay. Jackson's the boss. Jackson's the Miles boss. Miles is the bodyguard. Like the, yeah, he's like the guy. He's like, yo. He's like, I'm hanging out. Mm. Okay. I don't know why all, any of them talk hip hop in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so they got these other groups of chimpanzees in the show too. They're called the Westerners, and they broke off from the central group or whatever. <coughs> you might have actually seen this. Like I've seen, I know Joe Rogan has like reposted it like multiple times. Like it's like an old '90s clip, and you see just like a group of chimps messing this one chimp up, like destroying them, and like Joe Rogan's like. This is this is how brutal the world can be, but yeah, it, like documentary doesn't really go too far back into the '90s. It mainly like goes on like the last five years or so. I'm not sure how long this documentary actually takes place, but yeah, it's just crazy. Like they all split up from a central group, like Civil War style. Like, nah, we're leaving. <laughs> we're gonna start our own thing. And there was the small group that broke away. The entire time, all they've been trying to do is just grow their numbers so they can come back and be like, we're here to take the central part, and Dang. all this fruit's ours now. Mm -hmm. There's, like, some geopolitics and shit involved. It's like insane, man. Like, everything, like, everything's political in, like, this world, and it all has to do with either sharing food or grooming. Right. That's how it works. And if you're an ape, or if you're a chimpanzee that doesn't get groomed, 
then you're the bitch and <laughs> you end up becoming like sick because no one grooms you. Mm-hmm. Weird, so, dude. Crazy. Dude, it's, dude, I'm telling you, once you dive into it, you're going to be like, dude, this is the shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> this chimp empire right here. And I got to say, HD footage of chimpanzees just fucking going through the trees in slow motion is awesome. <laughs> Not going to lie, man. Nice. Once you watch it, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. You'll be like, dude, these chimps are fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> these chimps, bro. <laughs> well, brother, what's up with your week? Man, I binged all of Barry season four and all of Succession season, what was it, five? Four. Four. I binged all of it this week. Um, I've been playing Metroid Prime Remaster. I've been playing that this week. I've been playing Metroid dread this week Damn. as well i've also been playing tears of the kingdom as well making my way to that second temple making your way downtown walking fast <laughs> um yeah that's that's what i've been doing this week man um a lot of switching you're doing yeah man click yeah <laughs> snap <laughs> <laughs> pop it but yeah that's that's how my week's been man i've been listening to some new music um i was wanting to get your guys opinion and see if you guys had listened to any music but uh, oh, yes. today, the t- the new Tiger Cub album came out, and it's freaking rad. Like, it's it's pretty damn good. I love Tiger Cub. It's a new band that I've been listening to over the last, like, I don't know, three or four months. But I really like Tiger Cub, and their new album is pretty good. Um, I've also listened to a, a so- uh, an artist called Machine Drum. Have you guys ever heard of them? Mm-hmm. Machine Drum? Yeah. I have not. But there's a song called Cane Train featuring Freddie Gibbs. That I, it's, a, it's a rap song, and I've been listening to it like freaking crazy over and over and over again. I played it for Jackson in the car twice. But I do need to just say, regarding music, this is one of the best years in metal we've had in forever, and it's mm-hmm. only freaking May, dude. Or really? well, it's mm-hmm. June now, I guess. It's good. But so like, that, Veil of Maya periphery and Ventana May, like... Yeah. You, like, you like the new Veil of Maya, huh? Dude, it... <laughs> I think it's the best album since probably probably Punisher. I don't think it's better than Punisher, but so I I tried. I I listened to it, I listened to it on the way up here. Oh man! Because I was like, man, maybe I was harsh. I'm gonna give it another chance. And I gotta say, all the metal parts, fucking awesome. All the singing parts do not hit me like they did in Matriarch. Mm. Mm-hmm. To me, there's too many parts where I'm like, dude, this sounds almost One Direction ish, boy bandish. So back to so back to you what know I was who One saying. Direction is. I know who One Direction is. <laughs> so the name of the album was "The Perfume of Decay." Perfume of Decay. Yes, and the title track off that album, "Perfume of Decay," is such a good fucking song. It's rad. I'll have to give that a listen to. But yeah, I've listened to it today alone. I've listened to it four times. It's a good album. But uh, have you guys listened to anything, anything new? Also, I didn't like that Periphery album. Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it. Over to you. Seriously, dude? Yeah. No. What is wrong with the I was on it. I, I think I'm growing out of touch with Periphery, to be oh, honest. Oh, man. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be just like the Hail Stan album where like at first I didn't like get starstruck by it, but the more I listened to it, I was like, dude, this is freaking dope. Because there are like two songs on that album that I do like. Yeah, I, I think I had so in Hail Stan it was like two songs. Well, I grew on Reptile, uh, but it was like Satellite and 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 It's Only Smiles were like the only songs I really enjoyed on that album. This one's there's like five that I go hard on. Uh, I I found a new band recently called Pale Dusk that I'd never heard of. Pale Dusk. Pale Dusk. Man, that's weird because I've been listening to a band called Pale Face. <laughs> <laughs> but they're like, uh, they're like, they came out. They had two albums, and they were basically just, you know, your your uh, run of the mill metalcore. But the song I found, uh, I can't remember the, the name of it off the top of my head, but it was like chaotic, experimental, like psychedelic Japanese metal. That's dude, it's the craziest thing I've ever heard. There's a song called Black Ice. That's my favorite favorite song on. Black uh, guys, I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> super cool. Otherwise, I just I don't have enough time to listen to all the all the great music that's come out this year, dude. Usually the new Chelsea Grin album is insane. Is it? It, dude, it's so good. 
Yeah. Okay. I, I, I didn't even know there's a new album. I love yeah. Chelsea Grin. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, Periphery, Veil of Maya. The new Sleep Token album? Yeah, that's what to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely incredible, man. Yeah, the, it's like, every single... <laughs> dude, the whole no? album's good. The whole album's great. Sleep Token is just a heavy share, bro. That's <laughs> all it is. <laughs> that's <laughs> all <laughs> Sleep Token is. It's just so a heavy good. share. Dude. The whole album's good, man. <laughs> it is, man. And the way they end it, how they roll it into... The, what is it? The sleep there. The night belongs to does not belong to God. Mm. That song. To oh. be honest, that is the only song that I like. I like nope. I like that one song. Summoning and the rest freaking, I cannot dig with. Yeah, summoning's great. Summoning's great. Like I, someone said, something's like, man, this album's rootless. This, this song's really good because I was like their single or whatever. But like, this song's really good. I was like, watch out for the ending. You get pregnant because <laughs> like that all goes into like the whole like jazzy kind of yeah. sound. It's really They're, cool. Uh, yeah, I think it's a masterpiece, dude. It's yeah, it's it's. I I would say that's probably one of my favorite albums this year, just because of how I like I like every I like I honestly like every single song on the album. Jack's about to explode. You're fine, you're fine, dude. Well, you know it's what? It's not my thing. Explode with hate, dude. I think Silent Planet is shit. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. We all get different tastes. Uh, that's fine. So far, my album of the year is that new Rotten STP. Have you listened to Rotten S yet? Rotten nest. Rot nest. It's Rot one word. Nest. No. The Rot whole nest. band. The whole band wears like those scarecrow <laughs> masks from uh, the first uh, Batman Begins oh, movie. Kind of mm. They wear like those now. kinds of masks. But I'm just kidding. It, it's just straight, really heavy metal core that reminds me of like, I don't know, kind of like Glass Cloud and Knocked Loose mixed together. Jeez. I will. Uh, <laughs> I'll give them a listen. Yeah. There's also this new metalcore band that debuted an album called Psycho Frame. And uh, that kind of brings me back to like the first Suicide Silence Whitechapel Chelsea Grin era of metalcore. That's really good, and it's insanely good for being the first album from a band like that. They're called Psycho Realm, Psycho Frame, Psycho Frame, yeah. Psycho. Jackson already hates them. Like, <laughs> hey, well, I, I, I never listened. <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to check them out right now. Psycho. I actually Mantis. need to pull up uh, that Tiger Cub your album you were telling me about. Yeah, I, I put that on my list too. Give it a shot. If you don't like the first time, let's do it a second time. Because the first time I listened to it, I was like, okay, this is kind of slow. The second time I listened to it, I was like, okay. The third time I was like, oh, fourth of all. Does, it, does anybody here like Bring Me the Horizon at all anymore? I do like Bring Me the Horizon. Did Ryan, you hear, did you hear their new single, huh? Lost? Did you hear their new single? Uh -uh. Listen to it, bro. I think I'm going to see Bring Me the Horizon because I got tickets for this month to go see Fallout Boy and Bring Me the Horizon. Dang. At the end? Yep, I got... Freaking expensive ass tickets. Nice. I bought Natalie for on Valentine's Day. I bought them when they went on sale, and they were like six hundred bucks a piece. Jeez, get the fuck out of here! But that's I like I think it's a grab bag. A, gra a grab bag. I get a si I get some signed merch, and I get a meet and greet. She gets a grab bag. Kyle and I just went and saw Coheed and Cambria and Incubus at the Walmart amp, and it was, dude, it was pretty freaking I, dope. Man, I, was so I guarantee that. Kyle wouldn't have spent those six hundred bucks just for me and him to go. That shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. No, I spent about forty dollars. <laughs> I seen Coheed and Cambria open up for um, <sighs> My Chemical Romance in Oklahoma City. Nice. That would have been rad. It oh, was so buddy. good, dude. Yeah, my buddy went. It was that. so good. Like. It was so much fun. I was Cody so great, but but huh? not, that Cody's awesome. I, I love Cody's love. new album. The the, the that album's fucking amazing. Yeah, new that, album's Every great. single song, new love great. that entire album. That yeah. I, I I also like. I think that's actually I've listened to that more this year than any other album. Wow, I've listened to that that whole album. Wow. Like I listen to four songs continuously. Like it, usually, if I'm riding the motorcycle, I put headphones in. I start one of the songs. I start shoulders. I start uh, start shoulders. You end with back. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Yeah. Keep going down. Yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah. I, his shoulders. Uh, so the songs. Um, it's like they're all, it's like they're the two on the same. It's like the fourth and fifth song, which is shoulders and the other one. And then it skips the song. And then it's the next song. And it's like those three. I listen to those three. Let me find nice. it. I have to find it. You that. figure it out. I have to find it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the listeners on Spotify, they're like, okay, yeah, this. this, 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 this pause. This, this pause. This <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Jackson. Pause. <laughs> David, what was the name of that metalcore band you were just talking about a little ago? You'll hear it Pale later. Psycho, Psycho, Psycho Frame. Psycho, Psycho Frame. That's yeah. it. Psycho Mantis. All caps, because they're progressive. <laughs> oh, that's what I hear as Psycho well. Psycho Mantis. Psycho Mantis. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so let's go ahead and get into the meat. The meat. The meat and potatoes. The meaty potatoes. The liars club. <laughs> Potatoes. The potatoes. <laughs> David, get us started off. <laughs> Do I need to explain myself yes, or just explain go? explain yourself. <laughs> so Kyle said we're doing rapid fire questions with Ryan tonight. So I wrote questions to rapidly ask Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> because I thought that's what he meant. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So it's not many, dude. <laughs> Me, <laughs> but I, have to, I have to ask them because how I, old were I you when you lost your virginity? And who is the priest's name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't know you that well, so they're not personal. They're it's just all good. They're just stupid. <laughs> good. Uh, what would you tattoo on your butthole? <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing it. I'm killing it. It's probably an Eevee. God, yeah, yeah, they're not as funny as Jackson's questions now. So it's probably a Psyduck. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to do that. Do I want to do? You want me to do this? Do it, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're stupid now because Jackson's making funny ones. <laughs> <laughs> you get top butthole yeah, tattoos. He, he, never, no, he never answered the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, we butthole tattoo. Charizard. <laughs> get, get to the, this part in the Red Sea. The so Demogorgon. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably Jinx, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> It's Boba Fett trying to crawl out the side. <laughs> it looks like a Sarlacc pit. <laughs> Every time he farts, he goes, Juba! <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we can just do yours. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, David, I didn't mean to take your thunder. No, I, I mean... <laughs> hey, it, an important part of uh, knowing yourself is knowing whenever you should uh, divert to someone else, you know? Yeah, yeah. Poison, poison. And I know me. Gone. Yeah, he knows him. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that I know that you know. <laughs> so we're going to do this the same way we've done every rapid fire questions. I'm going to read an assortment of questions that I've made, Connor's made, Ryan's made, Jackson's made, John Herbert has made a few, and my wife and son came up with a few as well. Um, but I have also come up with some. So the first one here. So let's... So if, if these are good, good quick stuff. So if you quick if you, if you if you go too long, I'm gonna cut you off. All Remember right, Jackson. Quick stuff. Remember that. Slick stuff. Neat <laughs> quick stuff. and slick. Quick and slick. Remember that Jackson chimp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first one here. Why are orcas attacking boats? They have the meats. <laughs> <laughs> Why are boats attacking orcas? <laughs> <laughs> You want me to get into the ocean politics here, so. I think Aquaman, for sure. Yeah, he's leading the, the charge. The beach or the mountains? Uh, mountains. Mountains. You mean the beach? Beach, yeah. Yeah. I like snowboarding. I need a tan. A good tan and a, and a daiquiri. <laughs> what brand of furniture would you have sex with? <laughs> I, I, Ikea. <laughs> Brand Serta, uh, yeah, you know, that's like the only one that Serta. came to my mind because it's a freaking bed. <laughs> Tempur Pedic, yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever the the pillow, like the square pillows, pillow square. What is the what is that? What is that company called? Tempur Pedic, my pillow. Anybody, anybody? Yeah, my oh, sure, my pillow. <laughs> oh, fuck my the pillow. Blue one? The blue one? No, it's or a the square. Purple one? The know. square. I don't know about the square one. Uh. Is it a gel or is it a foam? <laughs> I, don't okay. know. I don't know. He just knows a square. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather be the gorilla from George the Jungle or the gorilla from Mighty Joe Young? Oh, man, for me, it's George of the Jungle. Because <laughs> if you remember the end of that movie, he gets a Las Vegas strip like crooning job where he just sings the chicks all day. So, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm backing that up. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with that. Mm -hmm. What is your hidden talent? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Keep that hidden. Keep it hidden. Don't show that. Don't show that. What are we doing right now? I didn't even know you could do that shit. Well, that's why it's hidden. For the listeners, I just pulled my butthole out. <laughs> He was, he was belly dancing. <laughs> no, I was belly dancing. Oh my god! Uh, wow. 
Oh, wow. Hidden talent. I don't think I really have. I have not done that in so long. I'm Uh, surprised I still do that. (laughs) What's your best pickup line? Yeah, I don't have any of those. (laughs) You don't use them? I don't have any good ones. I haven't used one in so long. (laughs) Oh, yeah. You're going to make me say an awful one. Yeah, play it. Say it. You got to. Hey, are you a school? Because I want to shoot kids in you. <laughs> 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 I heard someone say that, and I was like, damn. That is dark. Holy shit. Not only am I picking her up, but I'm also <laughs> really dark at the same time. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is your boy band name? Oh. <laughs> uh. mm. Ritz Carlton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, bo- the boy band I only think of is the one from uh, freaking American Dad, The Boys 12. <laughs> <laughs> the Boys 12. <laughs> I'll go with uh, Men in Heat. <laughs> I got it. I'll go with 97 degrees. We're not as hot. <laughs> Knock off. Are you real? 100%. 100. But are you? <laughs> Let me ask you, what is real? <laughs> what is real? Define real. <laughs> do, you like, do you like your face? Yeah, I like my face. I think it'd be weird having a face I, that's I like not your my face, face too, Connor. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> I like it enough to where I don't hate it. Yeah. I've got my problems, but yeah. I'm not perfect. <laughs> be honest. Do you like my face? No. Fuck you. <laughs> I like Ashton Kutcher's face. Yeah, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got the face of my lacunas. <laughs> Why is Pluto a dwarf planet? Because we named it that. We're arrogant. We decided what Because it's smaller than Earth. Yeah, you got to be a big enough size wise to be a planet. It's honestly because people protested scientists saying it wasn't a planet. You know what I mean? Like, saying it's a moon or something like that. They caved to the vocal min- minority. <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure? <laughs> guilty. Horses? Horse uh, noise, yeah. <laughs> for sure, horse noise. Horse boy. <laughs> Listening to Tiny Tim. Oh, Y'all know Tiny Tim. You don't enjoy that. Uh, for real, though. For me, it's that. Who's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you don't. I do. Oh. Every, every once in a while, I'll be on the ride home, and I'll be like, I'm so happy. Oh. I get down with that. If you could choose to never feel pain or never feel sadness, which one would you choose? Ooh, never sadness, dude. Sadness sucks. Mm. You freaking ill hurt. You hit you like weeks at a time sometimes. I'd pick pain. Yeah. I'd pick pain because you got to have sadness to know what happiness feels like. And mm-hmm. also, That's deep, yeah. Hashtag and deep. also, I'd start bar fights all the time, man. No, yeah, I, would, I would get into it. Yeah, yeah. No pain turn into the Bond villain. Yeah, you're like yeah. the kid from right. Kickass. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kickass. <laughs> <laughs> What's Kick-ass. the name again? Kickass. That's right. <laughs> What's more sour than a lemon? Lemon lime. <laughs> <laughs> My old stepmama. Keep going. <laughs> Did DJ Khaled really create Papa John's Doritos Cool Ranch Papadillas? <laughs> I think someone created that in the 70s after pretty good sized joint. Next question. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> oh my God. What is your spy code name? Deep brush. <laughs> <laughs> Fat chisel. <laughs> Johnny Two rubber fingers. ducky. <laughs> You're rubber ducky. Yeah, rubber ducky. All right. What was the worst thing you ever wore, but thought at the same time you looked cool as shit in? Bro, those wife beaters with like the see through Hawaiian shirts when, when I was in middle school. Remember those? Yeah, I would say it's either that for me or that girl's. Fucking uh, suit jacket I was wearing back in the grade. <laughs> One of those. I gotta say, I wore some chick clothes back in the day too. I wore a pair of uh, remember those uh, 
bell bottom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I had yeah. a pair of chick bell bottoms, and I wore those thinking I was the coolest thing. Ever. <laughs> you fucking wore, dude. Yeah, I dude. totally was, bro. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this: Where does the fire come from? Deep inside. inside. Deep yeah, deep inside. inside. I was yeah, about to say that too. Dang, it must be from inside. Dang. Well, then answer this: What is art? A fart. <laughs> <laughs> Art can be anything, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Art is People like say that motion thrown on a paper. Motion so. thrown on a canvas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Art is beauty. <laughs> and what is beauty? Beauty is divine. <laughs> <laughs> what is divine? <laughs> and what is divine? <laughs> to be one with God. <laughs> and what is God? <laughs> God is transcendence. <laughs> <laughs> Transcendence is Johnny Depp. There we go. Uh, therefore, Johnny Depp is art. <laughs> what is the best movie quote from a movie that is not a comedy? Well, I'd buy that for a dollar from freaking Robot or Robocop. <laughs> Probably, uh, get down here, pretty boys, so I can suck your cock. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me! Fuck me! <laughs> Name any movie. Jumanji's. <laughs> the Goonies. Jumanji. Jaws. <laughs> That's a good villain. <laughs> That's a good villain. If that was a submission from Rachel. She clearly, she wanted me to say... Put in parentheses, Jackson will say, Jaws. <laughs> That's a good movie. <laughs> You're damn right. Anybody that's seen the Rainer will know exactly what I'm talking about, too. <laughs> Rachel knows her, Jackson. Uh, um, what's, your, what's your sign? What's my sign? Yeah. Dude, I don't fucking know anymore, man. I thought I was a Cancer, but I think I might be a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> The astronomical signs are shifting, bro. <laughs> I'm a Leo, but only when Mars is in retrograde. Oh, nice. <laughs> what color is your energy? Amber. <laughs> I'm I was going to say amber, but I'm a, I'm a deep blue. I'm, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with uh, ocean teal. I'm like a forest green. Are you a door open or a door closed kind of guy? Door closed always, bro. I'm a door jar. No, I'm a door. I'm a, <laughs> you I'm a door. Miles, bro. <laughs> I'm a door. I'm a door. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, say it. What, I'm a door? There you go. <laughs> That's a deal. Try it out. Say louder. I'm a door. I adore you. <laughs> if you were in a plane crash... And was the lone survivor at a mere three years old. What animal tribe would you want to be raised by? Lions. Orangutans, bruh. Why? Why? Yeah, have you not seen fucking Jungle Book, bro? I want to be like you. Seen it all day? That's my jam, dude. Orangutans. Can I say dire wolves? Because, like, I'm watching, I'm reading Game of Thrones through again, and. That don't fucking count. Dire wolves ain't real. <laughs> Fine, wolves then. <laughs> really big wolves. <laughs> Bigger wolves. <laughs> you say, we're going that road, then I'm going to be like, Wookiees, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you would be a good spy? No. <laughs> That'd be nah. horrible. Nah, I'd get caught pretty quick. I'd be a Narty spy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be docking a... Dudgeon or <laughs> I'm I'm dodging and dodging and ducking lasers. <laughs> dive, you can dodge dive a laser. A yeah, and then as soon as I get like through like half of one, all of a sudden like I fart, spray fart, and then boom, set off lasers. <laughs> spray fart. It's you called just, a shart. Yeah. <laughs> shart it onto that laser. I like the way Dave Chappelle says it. A spray fart. <laughs> <laughs> what gets you moist? Ooh, oh. some cake. <laughs> chocolate cake. cake chocolate cake <laughs> yeah. Mike Douglas <laughs> Mike Douglas used to make me moist <laughs> Not a professor quote there What motivates you the most? Hmm Marvin Gaye <laughs> 
Uh, Marvin, <laughs> if this What's is going time, on? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the nookie, right? The nookie. You do it all yeah. for the nookie. Yeah. The what? The nookie. <laughs> oh. So you can get that cookie. <laughs> and shove it in your what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the aliens coming from currently? Ooh, that's a good one. Where mm. are the aliens coming from? Probably yeah. like other dimensions. Like in Invincible. Yes. Yep. Do steroids make your PP smaller? <laughs> that's that's the main no. reason why I don't do them. <laughs> no, it <laughs> makes your balls smaller. Does it? Oh, it yes. Makes, hmm. Yes. What if they're getting smaller and you don't use steroids? Right. <laughs> then something's wrong and you should probably see your physician. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I might start doing steroids, man, because I also don't care at all about my balls. <laughs> He's we got know. too much balls. We know. Well, I, think, uh, I think if you want to pursue that, you can get with the doctor and they can get a treatment plan for you set up to where it's like more safe than just you no, just I'm buying. I'm going to Mark McGuire it. All right. Right. That's what you should do. The ass some people go for the, the record, Jackson. Go for just the go record. Go find some big dude at the gym and ask him if he has the rules. But Jackson, you'll also have to work out. <laughs> oh, that's part of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, or you become floppy. <laughs> you become floppy like Arnold. Like uh, on the. Yeah. If you had to replace, thought, wait, hold on. Sorry, Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't like take steroids, and they're just like, all right, time to play some fours. No, 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 <laughs> no. Well, he did, and when he stopped, he got flappy. Oh, uh, Okay. Yeah. If you had to replace the actor of Aragorn in Lord of the Rings, who would be the worst replacement? Gilbert Godfrey. Dude, <laughs> the, the, that kid from the new guy, what's his name? Um, DJ Khaled. Like the main character from New the Guy? The main character it's from like DJ New Guy. Yeah, right? I guess his dick broken? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's also. In, uh, <laughs> this is my. Hustle and flow. <laughs> yeah, DJ Qualls. Yeah, called it. Or Taylor Swift. Good job, Connor. <laughs> Everybody thought you were just staying a rapper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. Well, I did say DJ Call at first as a joke, nah. but it's because I knew it was G- and DJ Qualls. I knew his first name was DJ. Congrats to him. He Another one came out. Congrats to that guy. What name do you like for the baby? <laughs> what name do I like for the baby? Um, Hansel. Hansel. <laughs> yeah, I already got yeah, my that's favorite. A good one. So we're good. He's so cool right now. I want to name him Chadley. Chadley. All right. If you would write a book, what would it be about? Your mom. (laughs) 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 We're going to be talking. (laughs) Hairy lips or a hairy tongue? God, Ooh. Jesus Christ, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Those are both bad. Lips, I get. My top lip's already hairy, so. I've never been a big fan of Bush. <laughs> <laughs> you can hide the tongue, so I'll probably do the tongue. Uh, What's your inspirational quote? <laughs> um, we choose not to go to the moon because it is easy, but because it is hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say someone has a gun to your head. And says, if you cook me something bomb as fuck, he would let you live. What would you cook him? Gumbo. Now that I know how to make it. Yeah, gumbo. Make, dude, make gumbo's gumbo. freaking good. Mm, yeah. Ribs. <laughs> Ri- ribs. Ribs. <laughs> how would you serve him those ribs? <laughs> <laughs> On a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Maybe at the time, I'll just be like, dude, have you ever had a PB and jelly? And if he says no, I'll be like, dude, you're, got, you're about to find out. If you're someone who's never had a PB and jelly before and you taste one for the first time, it's got to be the Dude, greatest thing. My, my favorite one On is, Bread. is peanut butter and marshmallow fluff. Oh, they're called fluffernutters, and they're delicious. Fluffernutters, fluffernutters. fluffernutters dude. That's what they're called. They're How do you like our fluffernutters down in Georgia? <laughs> <laughs> What's your go-to snack? A fluffernutter? Dude, they're freaking good, man. Uh, like... Takis or, or hot Cheetos? Uh, it'd probably be the Doritos, honestly. It'd be like the freaking uh, roulette ones because they're you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> For yeah. me lately, it's been a uh, barbecue flavored Doritos. Those ones are good. Yeah, I've never had like the Dorito barbecue flavor before. I've had Lay's, you know. They're but, new, I think. Yeah, but damn, they're good. They're lemon heads. Oh yeah, <laughs> and those freaking those. Uh, for, um, gummy crunch things you guys get the clusters dude, oh like, hell yeah, yeah. Those those the nerds ones the nerd yeah. clusters oh nerd clusters <clears throat> yeah. I still buy those all the time thanks to Connor yep. <laughs> they're so good good on you mate uh, crack's <laughs> pretty good too 
<laughs> the Rock. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like The Rock. <laughs> what are the truths of the world? <clears throat> uh, never trust an electrician with no eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> or a plumber. I don't know. A plumber, a with, plumber no with no eyebrows. crack. <laughs> He's just not working hard enough. Yeah, where, where's the crack, man? I don't see the crack. Hire the plumber that got crack because he charges less and he's probably better. A plumber doesn't that doesn't smell like shit. I mean, you shouldn't hire him. But yeah, sure, yeah, probably. I want to see the shit underneath this fingernail. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? I wanted to make me smell it. What would, you rather, what would you rather do? Would you rather sink in the shit or shit in the sink? Shit in the sink. <laughs> shit in the sink. Yeah. I'll, do it I'll do it again. <laughs> Where do babies come from? <laughs> from our father's balls, sir. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about what the one he just said. I was like, man, it's kind of like, would you rather pee in the drink or drink in the pee? <laughs> <laughs> drink in the pee. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I was like, man, one of those is savagely worse than the other. <laughs> so I'll just do shit. both those things. I'm <laughs> sinking shit before and it's not good, so I'd rather shit the sink. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what sounds do you make when you hit a tennis ball? <laughs> <laughs> I've never once done it, so I wouldn't know. I imagine it's just like a... (laughs) (laughs) What sound do you think you'd make if you were to ever hit a tennis ball? (laughs) For for comedy reasons, I would do it obnoxiously. (laughs) 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 What do you sound like, Connor? I've been doing it this whole time. (laughs) We we haven't been knowing it. Okay, I was just going like... (laughs) <laughs> Actually, in hindsight, I'm just gonna add a catchphrase to like mine every single time, like 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 Falcon hit or something. <laughs> Falcon boom. Falcon back hit. <laughs> what is your favorite song from when you were in high school? Ooh, high school. Whoa, dude! Probably something from Lincoln Park. Yeah, probably he is legend song. Oh, high school. Hmm. Probably be from him mm. and him. Honestly, rip my, off my, the wings of a bird. My favorite song by him is uh is um that's your join favorite. me in death. That's my favorite one. Mm. It's off Razor Blade Romance. I think mine might actually be Dance of the Manatee by Fair to Midland. Go cool. on, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When's a good time to make some love? Anytime you can get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like the best time to wear a striped sweater, dude. It's all, all the time. time. <laughs> if the CEO of your job asked for your advice, what would you say? The fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you want my advice? You're going to pay for it. <laughs> I'll start Charlie Bronson it, man. Just be like, fuck off. <laughs> socks or no socks with sandals? Uh... I'm not a barefoot guy, so socks it all the way. Depends on the sandal. Yeah, no socks. No socks and the sandal, man. I, I fuck sandals. Straight up. So You're wearing a sandal probably because it's hot, right? Oh, you put or at least warm? On. Yeah. I don't know. I'd, I'd figure something else. And also, what kind of sandals? Are they like the toe, the toe sandals? Yeah, I wear or are they socks like the slides. one with the straps on top? Yeah. Like which, one are you, which one are you doing? Like if you're wearing socks with a thong like sandal, you're crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah. What is the toe yeah. socks? Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Do you have a written bucket list? Nope. I do not. Yeah, no. Would your 12-year-old self think you were cool? No. Hell yeah. I think probably, yeah. I'd be yeah. Like, I, could, I could grow up and be that guy. What do you need to get by? <laughs> A little help from my friends. <laughs> <laughs> A little R&R, you know? Yeah. You got to be good to yourself. What's your f- What famous actor slash actress... Would fit perfectly on this podcast. I think Sam Rockwell would fucking fit perfectly in. Just as like you just you just be one of us. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I just threw a name. What is your last Google search? Give me Robert Pattinson in the <coughs> Batman. Damn, shit that mode. would be badass. <laughs> what was your last Google search? What is your last Google search? Uh, besides cast of new guy. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, Lakers. <laughs> and then Media NBA. reports. <laughs> That's yeah. my last one. Media reports. How would you die in a How would you die in a horror movie? Ooh. <laughs> Hopefully quickly. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably like the beginning death, I would think, you know. The opening scene. <laughs> I'm death. the one that doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, I don't die. What? I definitely get my head cut off. <laughs> <laughs> my entrails would become my extrails. <laughs> Something tells me a succubus would try to take me in some way, so. <laughs> the I- fuck? I would, Why straight, I, would get, I would straight get slayed would try to by try to take some you sickness. some way. He would slay and then get slayed. <laughs> <laughs> What's the That's crazy first? <laughs> <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've seen on the street? <laughs> craziest thing I've seen on the street? I saw somebody driving down the road on a power wheel. And he got out. He looked at it, looked under the hood, slammed it down, kicked the thing, and then like got back in it and then started driving again. He was definitely high. <laughs> it was your job one, I saw a tiny chihuahua humping the shit out of a full grown golden retriever and to me that was just the funniest thing I could not stop laughing it 10 could. minutes later I'm crying still man the craziest thing I seen on the street was after the tornado and there was no street mm. there was no street signs there was like where the fuck am I that was the yeah. craziest thing was nothing True. yeah preach <laughs> Give a wrestling nickname to the person to your right. A wrestling nickname? Sequoia. <laughs> Nocturnal. <laughs> Sam? <laughs> yeah. Chevy Bull Snake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> DJ Jazzy Boy. <laughs> okay. Go with uh, Free Beard. <laughs> free Beard? <laughs> Instead of Free Bird. <laughs> If you could rid the world of one thing, what would it be? Can't say anything like war hunger or any of that bullshit. Mm. Mm. Mosquitoes. <laughs> Perfect. Fox News. <laughs> Wasps. Dude, I hate freaking gnats, dude. Yes. Uh, gnats. Get all, rid of them. All insectoids. You open up your freaking... You know what? Change your mind to fucking ticks. Dude, ticks. <laughs> yeah, ticks. ticks, get the fuck out. <laughs> Just ticks like get stomach viruses. What world record do you want a chance at beating? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, Most times getting laid in a day. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm assuming there's a record and I want to beat it. (laughs) (laughs) I want to have the opportunity to beat it. (laughs) With the most chicks. (laughs) Yeah. What is the best comeback? Kim Kardashian. You are. (laughs) Perfect. How should Jackson live his life? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a baby. Fuck that. Gotta baby have a baby. Baby would make the life for yeah. sure for Jackson. It changes Give life him some for stability. Sure. Give him purpose. Something to live for. I ain't trying to have yeah. no kid. I don't even want a pet. So don't give me a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Which way do you swing? Which way do I swing? Uh, Towards oh. the vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is there, is there, I'm like, there's only one, oh, what? <laughs> it's a trick question. I'm trying to make like an American, like all American rejects joke, yeah, but it, it doesn't exist. Do the same thing. Like, swing, 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 the mom from uh, The Incredibles. That mm. fat ass. That fat ass. Oh, yeah, yeah baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> She's ass up, face down. <laughs> I call her Elastigirl. <laughs> what fictional event will change your life? Ooh. What fictional event will change my life? <laughs> uh, like uh, if I had to go through that maze in Maze Runner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, you know, not dying on that plane in Final Destination really changed things for me. <laughs> yeah. Constantly running, man. <laughs> what is your go-to comeback? You are. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> 
<laughs> Who would you like to see covered in chocolate? Ooh. Them ring girls from the UFC. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Dude, that was a good pick. That's a good Damn fine. <laughs> we don't need any more questions. <laughs> Let's go find them ring girls. You're at a restaurant with a you're at a restaurant eating dinner with a celebrity. Who are they? I, I want to just say Kevin Smith because we were talking about Kevin Smith earlier. <laughs> yeah, but probably more like Jason Mewes. Okay, the click I'm commander. Say, I'm say Bill Burr. What do you wish you learned sooner? Hmm. <laughs> that what they tell you about happiness on the television isn't always necessarily true. <laughs> right. That the world is score. <laughs> and the world is made up of chaos and bullshit. Yeah. And the world is a vampire. <laughs> right. That's what Jackson was so, supposed to say. What's love got to do with it? <laughs> mm. uh, what's love uh, got to do? Got to what's do love? What does what does love have to do with it? Take the X minus the Y. I don't believe in love. <laughs> <laughs> what TV game show do you think you would have the most success in? Uh, Family Feud. American Ninja Warrior. Dude, it's freaking awesome. Um, Jeopardy, I'm pretty good at words. The price is right. <laughs> is it though? <laughs> <laughs> you sure about that? What's the perfect dessert for dessert? The perfect for th dessert for, for dessert? the desert. Oh, um, for the desert. What's the perfect dessert for the desert? Oh. Dude, I was about to say, man. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> dessert for the desert. What? <laughs> the dessert for the Let's desert. Go back to savory. Pure sugar. popsicle, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, pineapple bliss, man. Dude, pineapple bliss. That'd be. Dude. Say shaved ice. That way you're staying hydrated. It's not just, like, all milk from, like, ice cream, you know? Right. What is the key to a good life? Money and power. <laughs> <laughs> Having kids. Social mm. status. Chimpanzees <laughs> <laughs> would agree with you, bro. <laughs> Getting groomed on time. That's like all you want to talk about. Man. Getting We're groomed on circle. time. <laughs> if you could live as anybody for a week, who would it be? Mm. Brad Pitt. Uh, I don't know about that one. If you could choose a villain, who would it be? <laughs> Jafar <laughs> Jafar <laughs> Scarecrow Sc Sc <laughs> oh <my God>. yeah. <laughs> That's an oldie Who's a good yeah. villain? From the old Jacob Lindsay episode <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> If you can pick a villain Six twisted T's in If you can pick a villain <laughs> <laughs> Dude but, Oh we love you Jacob <laughs> what is a spinoff TV show you'd like to see? <clears throat> a spinoff TV show. A lost show called Found, where they actually explain what the fuck happened in that show. Perfect. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Perfect. What two names do you combine to make your new name? Sharn Jane. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say it like that, Sharn Jane. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand the question. <laughs> Given the power, what holiday would you create? <clears throat> Harassment day. <laughs> <laughs> and what? It's it, no, it's, but it's a day where you could just freely walk up to anyone you want and just be like, yo, happy harassment day. Here's some flowers. I've always wondered if you would suck my dick in the broom closet. Uh, oh, sexual harassment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, oh, we're going on. It, you know, it, gives you, it gives you a one day where you can just like get that out in the open and just be like, oh, okay. I'm no, oh it's a no. It's a no. Okay, okay fine. Fine. Have the harassment day. You keep the flowers. Keep the flowers. <laughs> Jesus. What is your biggest flaw? I would. I want milk dead day. I want, <laughs> I want everybody to be quick. Yeah, yeah, I want Nacho's day too. Like, <laughs> I apparently want a harassment. <laughs> My biggest flaw: I don't get enough sleep ever, and I probably won't. Yeah, that's just parent and other stuff. Yeah, biggest flaw: I fucking hate sleeping. <laughs> My biggest flaw is that I am flawed to my core. <laughs> my biggest flaw is that I care too much. <laughs> there you go. There I you work go. too damn hard. <laughs> What liquid do you want on tap? Ooh. Ah, uh, man. I'll tell you right now. 
freaking A and W root beer from like oh, the hell fast yeah. food restaurant, like straight from the tap. Yeah, that's what I want. This is gonna sound weird, but V eight spicy hot. That'd be good. <laughs> some, <laughs> some fresh sweet tea, so I don't have to make it all the time. Mm. That yeah, yeah. I'd go with sweet tea as well. It's good. A and W, good pick. How do you want your loved ones to remember you? I don't know why he could thought he could fly. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, true American patriot. <laughs> yeah. That's leather daddy. Leather daddy. <laughs> what do you replace your skin with? <laughs> Pure titanium. <laughs> no. I don't know, Kevlar. Yeah, some sort of like polymer. <laughs> Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Velcro. <laughs> you just have a hair and carpet and grass stuck in you from everywhere you go. I like the the whole soccer ball outer oh, layer yeah. skin. I think that's that's the way to go. Longer nose, longer or longer eyebrows. <laughs> I can shave the eyebrows. Longer like, brows. Is it, is yeah. it like no, the whole just, brow. Probably just longer nose. The whole oh, brow. Man. You can still have them wax and stuff. <laughs> oh, wait, you're saying the... Uh, oh, oh, yeah. You have, like, the freaking, like, Dragon Ball Z ones where they're, like, tra- like, like huge? <laughs> like, you're freaking, like, bones on the side of your head yeah. jutting out of your face? Your actual yeah, nose. Soul, yeah. I don't know, dude. How, like, how, how big of a nose we talking here? Maybe if I long. add more to my eyebrows, it'll even, even out my nose. So. If you had a long nose, they'd be me, like, yeah. that guy's got a long <laughs> nose. If you had long eyebrows, they'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and so. give me a long chin and some long lips. Just give me that long face. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it all out. The crimson chin. It's a pig to the horse. Hey, fella, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking chicken run. All right. And that was it, man. That's all the questions for oh my God. rapid fire, man. That was a good one. You, all right. You left one of mine out. Which one is it? If you could cunt punt someone. Yeah, I left that one out. <laughs> That bitch in the third grade, man. <laughs> that too. <laughs> oh, Whoever dude. sings that if song, I, fly like a G6. God, I can't stand that song. If only I could have harassed that bitch one day. <laughs> <laughs> there was a common theme in your questions, Jason. <laughs> it's all harassment. <laughs> I hate my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go pick a fight. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys ready to go ahead and move into Yo Dude? Check this out. Yo, dude. Yo, Yo dude. dude. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude. That was new. Oh, yo, yeah, dude. you like that one? Hey, yo, fuck you, Connor. This is the track. <laughs> yo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> An oldie, that was but a goodie. <clears throat> yeah, Connor talked shit on the first song, and so I was like, hold up. And I left Discord real quick. 15 seconds later, uploaded another one, and that was that one. So, mm. Yeah, that's a rewind for you. So, yo, dude, check this out. The only wedding ceremony of a president serving in the White House was Grover Cleveland in 1886. At 49 years old, he married a 21-year-old woman he had previously been the legal guardian of. And John Philip Sousa provided the music. And that's called grooming. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what that illegal. is. That's illegal. <laughs> yeah. There has been other presidents that were married during the presidency, but there's only been, that was the first one at the actual White House. Wow. I wonder how many affairs. Yeah. That's a story that's for another podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, uh, check this out. Uh... So, we're, we're talking about presidents. Not a president, but Ben Franklin. Apparently, was a piece of shit. I've heard that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah if, you, if you read him to his journal, like, the way he writes his journal, it's, like, very plain. Like, it's just, like, I did this, and then this happened. And it, it's just very, like, there's no, like, adjectives or adverbs in it. You know, it's just, like, just really quick to the point. But he talks about how uh, he had a friend that just got married, but he didn't have a house. And back then, if he didn't have property, then... You were a nobody, pretty much. So his friend was like, hey, I just got married, but I don't have a house yet. Can I move her in with you until I get a house? And he was like, yeah, sure. And 
and the journalist just keeps going on. He's like, so I, uh, she moved in with me, and um, I took it upon my pleasure to partake in her sexually, and uh, she spurned my advances, so I kicked her out. Uh, their marriage collapsed. Uh, I never saw him again. <laughs> it's just, it's just wild. I was like, dude, Ben Franklin just fucking turned. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yo, dude, check this out. <laughs> um, Mexico police find forty-five bags containing body parts matching characteristics of missing call center staff. Dang! Dang. Glad I got out of that business. Forty-five bags of body parts. Isn't that just insane? <clears throat> Bro, cartel yeah. violence is so scary. It's people, people have no idea. It really is. Like, there's a reason why all these people are <clears throat> fleeing from Mexico. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, I I couldn't stand living there. Yeah, living there is one thing. Torn there is a whole another thing. Apparently, like they're set up to where like they they say like don't ever fuck with the tourists. They bring the money in. Mm. So right. So if you're a tourist <clears throat> over there, you're usually fine. Unless you were that one set of tourists that was going to freaking get their plastic surgery and then got freaking captured and fucked up and killed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If they know you got money on you, that's all that matters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yo, dude, check this out. There is a running theory that Boo from Monsters, Inc. is actually Andy's mom because, you know, he was wearing... He, he, he wears a cowboy hat when he plays with Woody in the first movie, but it's actually Jesse's hat, not Woody's hat. But then you find out later that Andy's mom was Jesse's original owner. But then in Monsters Inc., when uh, the big guy, he was, he was bringing, it was Sully bringing back. Uh, yeah, when Sully brings Boo back to her room, Jesse's sitting on the table. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I seen I seen that on on TikTok. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. I was like, I can get behind that. I'm pretty. I didn't sure prep for this, but I saw that today. <laughs> <laughs> All the Pixar movies are like. Connected in some ways. I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure you can see the Monsters Inc. characters on, uh, what is it, Finding Nemo? Don't you see them as toys at some point? Huh. I don't know. I Probably. think you see them at the doctor's office, or the dentist's office. You can I see think. Buzz Lightyear in the, in the dentist's office of Finding Nemo. Mm. Hmm. What movie am I thinking of that has the... We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, dude, check this out. So back to card games. Um, cards being expensive for being a certain part of how, however much cards can be. There is a new set in Magic coming out that is Lord of the Rings. They do have a serialized one of one, the one ring to rule them all. And it is all in Elven. Like that, and it's exactly what it looks like. And right now on eBay, it's going for a hundred thousand dollars. There's um, only one card, only one in the whole entire world. Oh my god, they're gonna make so much money off of that. That one, if whoever gets that card, it's probably gonna be locked in a vault. But whoever gets that card is gonna make a lot of money. Or they, they need could to burn that. To a, they could just take it to the mountain. They need to burn that. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, that thing yeah. is dangerous. No. That is, yeah. Um, but that is uh, a new set coming out this month. That is. Um, going to be a lot because like, they already have bids on it for a hundred thousand they should just never put that ring in a booster pack and then tell everyone that it's in a booster pack <laughs> they would just sell millions of booster packs. no they're gonna sell millions of booster packs for sure yeah. like regardless mm-hmm. of that that's saying this in there because they you can still get the one ring but not the fancy foil elven mm-hmm. writing one gotcha that has a one of one on it yeah because they have like some cards will have like one of 500 or whatever like that and uh this one's the only one that's ever been printed that's a one of one that's wild that tito pin i bought was one of 300 (laughs) nice (laughs) (laughs) all right anybody else have any words of wisdom or anything to close the episode out i was about to say 45 bags (laughs) (laughs) 45 (laughs) it's good to be back a whole year later Good to have you back, bro. Yeah. Come back anytime you want. Same with you, Ryan. Yep. You've been on the most out of anybody. I, like well, I guess not so, David. Not David. No. <laughs> Open invitation. <laughs> <laughs> Open invitation. Yeah. No. I'm All right. Down. That's been episode... all this free time. I can say that um, yeah, I've been enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Well, uh, that's been episode eighty-nine of Crashing with Friends. Uh, if you like what you see today, remember to like and subscribe. All right. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week. We'll see you guys all next week. Bye. 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 Dang. dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow.
Crashing with friends. Podcast.